Uncle Harris's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the latest version of SEMU within HyperPi PC. Um, very easy to do. We're going to have to get a few things before we get started, so let's let's do this. Uh, if you go to the link in the description, the first link is going to take you to the SEMU website. Um, basically, you're going to be on this page. Scroll down to the bottom. Download latest version. As of this video is 1.9.1. Just click it. We can close that out. Second link in the description is going to take you to SEMU Hook. So SEMU Hook is an awesome plugin to help you have the best experience with your uh, SEMU emulation. So basically we're just going to scroll down. It says downloads here. Current versions. Now we're on 1.9.1 so that's the version we're going to click. Click it. It downloads. We can close that out. Lastly, uh, if you don't have Notepad++ installed, um, I definitely recommend it. It's very easy to use. Best text, at, uh, text editor out there, uh, in my opinion. And for here, we can scroll down and we can either get the 32-bit installer or you can get the 64-bit installer. So go ahead and download that as well as install it. Close out. So once you have Notepad++ installed, uh, we're going to have our two downloaded zip files. So for the SEMU 1.9.1, we'll just right click, extract here, I'll move that off to the side. Next thing we're going to want to do is take our SEMU hook zip file, drag it into our SEMU folder. Now we'll open that folder and right click on the SEMU hook and same thing we're going to do extract here. And uh, you can go ahead and delete this if you want. Um, I will, but you don't have to. You can leave it. It's small. So we'll close that out. Next step is to cut the folder. So take your entire SEMU 1.9.1 folder. Go to your HyperPC folder, Emulators. Right click and paste. Once that's copied over, you're going to want to go into your other SEMU folder that was already in your HyperPC build. Now, if you have any shader cache, go ahead and highlight that. If you have a keys.txt, hold control, left click, that highlights that as well. And I always take my Wii U gamepad, so hold control, left click. And you would take all three of these and right click, copy we're going to go into our 1.9.1 and just paste them in here. Uh, the reason why I'm not going to do my shader cache is it's going to take forever to copy over. So for me, I'm just going to take my keys and my CCC file, copy, and paste. So this is how it should look. Uh, you guys should look the same right here. So let's run SEMU. And on first launch, it's going to ask us to get uh, four shared fonts. So go ahead and click download now. Perfect. So now we're all set in SEMU. We'll just go to file, exit. Now let's go up a folder, up a folder. So we're in the main hyper PC folder. We're going to go into attract. And we're going to go into emulators, scroll down to Nintendo Wii U, Nintendo Wii U. I like to just copy, right click and paste, and just hang on to that copy of it. So we're going to right click on our Wii U config file and edit with Notepad++. Now that that's open, let's go back to the folder we were just in, go up a folder up a folder, so we're in the HyperPC folder, emulators, SEMU 1.9.1, go to the browser bar, click it, now everything is highlighted, we're going to right click, click copy, and we have SEMU is a capital C, so we're going to want to remember that. 
So now that we have this copied here, we'll go into Notepad++ and on this executable line, we're going to highlight everything just like that. Right click, paste. Now from here, we're going to want to put a backslash, capital C, E-M-U dot E-X-E. Just like that. Now if you guys look at the link in the description, that'll give you the command line arguments, which look just like this. Let's go ahead and go like that. Right click, copy. And we're going to highlight all of this line up to here up to the dash s right click paste so that's what your args line should look like space g or uh, dash g space quotation it'll look just like that <laughs> uh, so we'll go ahead and click save and we'll exit out of here I'll minimize this and we're going to go up a couple folders to the main HyperPC folder and we're going to launch HyperPy PC now. So we have one more step. Very easy. Just hit tab on your keyboard. I'm going to mute here. Hit tab on your keyboard and go to emulators. And we're going to scroll down to Nintendo Wii U. and scroll down to exit hotkey. So once you hit enter on here, um, you're gonna wanna press start and select on your controller. I don't have a controller connected, so mine's gonna say escape, um, but you're gonna wanna press start and select. So we're gonna hit it, and it'll say press your exit hotkey, and you would have pressed start and select there. You can see mine says escape. Yours should say joy button, so on and so forth, um, but it should be your start and select buttons. Now that we've done that, let's back out, back out. And let's let's launch a game. So I have Super Mario 3D World. So oh, mine is running a little slow. Not the best computer, as well as uh, I'm recording. So. But you can see the game has launched, uh, and I'll let it get into the title menu of the game before I back out. But there you go. Just like that. So you would press start and select there, and it takes you back to your attract mode. And there we go. So I did this um, as a workaround. Uh, it does not work with Rocket Launcher. This is a workaround of Rocket Launcher, and I found this to be most likely uh, the best user-friendly uh, way to do this. Uh, I think anyone can do this following this guide. Um, it's it's very simple to do and it was a like I said it's a patron request and I, I really wanted to uh, I try to help as many people as I can um, and I think this is the best best way to go about using the latest greatest version of SEMU within your HyperPy PC build. Um, so if there's ever, um, if there's any questions that anybody has and stuff, I do try to answer as many people and help as many people as possible, uh, but I am a busy guy these days, so it's it's hard for me to get to everyone, and I do apologize for that, guys, because I do want to help everybody. I just I just can't. Time time is uh, is very limited these days for me. Um, so I'm gonna, but I'm still gonna try and pump out as many builds and as many videos as possible for you guys to enjoy. Uh, so with that being said, I really appreciate everybody watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, tell everybody about my, my channel. Um, you know, I'm, I'm getting up there in subscribers. I might hit a thousand soon. We'll see. I'd love to hit a thousand by Christmas. Uh, that would be pretty sweet, pretty awesome. Um, but again, that's, that's just a personal goal for me. Uh, I do this because I, I just, I like to do things for people to enjoy and I like to enjoy myself as well. So uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.